the United States, it's just assumed you'll get high blood pressure. Uh, my blood pressure isn't high yet, and my physician keeps remarking on that. I keep saying, but I'm in the area. You know, I, I, this is what I work at. I, I live this diet, so I'm hoping mine never goes high. Your blood levels of glucose and insulin, uh, typically we think of these from the standpoint of type 2 diabetes, adult on di onset diabetes, but they have a role in heart disease and, and cancers that I'll, I'll talk about. Phenol content is, is reported as milligrams per kilogram. If you look at the types of olive oil, basically refined olive oil, and, and if you look at it in studies, have somewhere less than 20 is, is fair. Uh, to say 20 milligrams uh, per, per kilogram, uh, this study, when they looked at this, that LDL oxidation decreased only for the oil that had 366 milligrams per kilogram. So it was the truly the extra virgin olive oil with a moderate high uh, phenol content uh, as opposed to the retail one. So those are the retail uh, olive oil. And this one, this is a high uh, content of phenol, uh, but it compared it to, again, a retail type level, but this showed a decrease in DNA oxidation. So this is where I think that work needs to be done. This is where I think we need to educate our patients that you're using specific extra virgin olive oils and you're using um, specific levels of phenols. And this is, this is something that's going to come about. I think more and more people are going to, in the air in the market, will do this because I think this is where we'll see uh, much more health uh, benefits. So there's some evidence that of the high phenolic content uh, may lower the LDL more than refined. This is an area that's open, I think, for research. Um, what is definitely in the, is, is very clear in the literature that the uh, HDL particle, the level will increase with extra virgin olive oil and it increases uh, higher com with the higher phenolic content. And uh, this is the only thing I know that will increase HDL. I remember when I worked in the area in the 80s, people were trying to come up with the drugs. They were trying to look at, you know, how do you change the particle? Nothing works. There's no drug that will increase your HDL. Extra virgin olive oil is the only food. And I think this is a really interesting uh, thing to look at. Then from blood pressure standpoint, compared to sunflower oil, two to three tablespoons of olive oil, this study, uh, tested them after six months, so it's not clear how soon it happened. Uh, but two to three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil uh, led to a significant decrease in both systolic and diastolic blood pressure. Most dietary interventions you may know will are more likely to change systolic. Diastolic's a little more uh, resistant to change. In this particular study, almost half of the participants actually went off their blood pressure medicines, which is very exciting, I think. I love when food works better than medicines. I'm always very excited when I see those studies. This next study uh, used four tablespoons of olive oil a day for just a four-week period. These were older people. These were older people with um, blood pressure for a number of years. In a three-week period, you saw a lowering of systolic blood pressure. This next study looked at women with a higher, uh, one of the higher phenolic content, over 500, and they gave them 60 milliliters a day, which is about four tablespoons. And in an eight-week period, uh, it lowered both systolic and diastolic. And I put the numbers here because if you're, if you're familiar with the literature, uh, different studies looking at changes in blood pressure, two or three points is, is big. It's usually significant. These were huge decreases, huge average decreases. I didn't put the standard deviation because that starts to look unwieldy. But uh, these are huge decreases in systolic and diastolic blood pressure. So I think there's something to be said for the higher phenol content uh, being able to lower blood pressure, which uh, I don't know about here, but in the United States, it's just assumed you'll get high blood pressure. Uh, my blood pressure isn't high yet, and my physician keeps remarking on that. I keep saying, but I'm in the area. You know, I, I, this is what I work at. I, I live this diet, so I'm hoping mine never goes high.